Keisha Clay. I am from Rocky Mount High School, where I teach family and consumer science courses, AKA tied into a career in technical education as well. Um, I teach child development and early childhood two, which are the courses. Um, I want to say thank you to Steph for the opportunity. I definitely want to give a shout out to the Nash County CTE department, um, like Chad Thompson and Dale Wills, and of course my guy um, Damian Jeffers, because I wouldn't do anything about this opportunity if it wasn't for him. All right, so I was in a little bit of a mix up when I first got um, <laughs> assigned. So I didn't get to do the lesson planning part or anything because I got assigned like a week later due to the storm that came and Pfizer got hit. So that's where I originally was supposed to go. But I'm not mad at all because I enjoyed <laughs> my time at the water resources in the city of Rocky Mount. I mean, I got to travel so much and usually I get anxiety riding with other people. But um, everybody could drive. And, <laughs> But um, we went to different places. Um, I found out about little boxes that you see around here all the time. I'm like, hey, what's that little box at the end of the road there? And the whole time it's like a little water faucet and that's where they collect their samples and they do like pH balance, they test the water for ammonia and everything. But I think nothing captures them better than their mission statement, which is um, the mission of the Water Sources Department is to produce and distribute potable water for domestic and commercial use and to collect, treat, and dispose of domestic and commercial wastewater, which is really um, a special thing about Rocky Mountain. We do both. We treat drinking water and they get rid of and treat the wastewater. And a lot of places don't have that. Um, names are significant. So I got uh, linked up with Amanda James, and let's talk about girl power, because she is the first female superintendent of water quality services. And she's been there for over 25 years, and she was just excellent. And I would say their atmosphere or work environment is ideal and like so much like family. Like they're really like brothers and sisters and cousins when they come to work. And I can only imagine it makes it just, you know, wonderful to go to work and you, you know, love to get up and don't hate working. Oh, and not, but I met a lot of people. I got to work in the lab, um, basically, and mostly, um, and see a lot of those works, which you would need a little bit of a college or university degree going into the lab, but it's not impossible to start entry level and work your way up and get in-house training. They also have a lot of entry level jobs as well when it comes to actually being <coughs> on the treatment plants themselves. But I really enjoy the experience. Um, I don't have the time to click on the links, but I wish they would welcome to share it with anybody so they can have it. But um, they give you water quality reports every year. Um, I have the links in there. And one thing that I wanted to bring up was the fact that the tours for our CTE people, because we like to take our kids on field trips. And one thing that a lot of the employees were talking about was the fact that they don't really see too many of the schools come out and tour anymore. But I think it would be a wonderful idea to get some of our kids back there so they can see exactly the process and what we can do at home to make you know expenses cheap you don't want to have to call a plumber you don't want to have to um, have unnecessary expenses so um i got to tour both of these water treatment facilities in which one we see all the time which is right here at the bottom on um, the sunset treatment plant especially if you go to chico's the mexican restaurant <laughs> so you're right there at it and i'm gonna say that they remodeled it and it's beautiful it's antique a wonderful place um, and it has information about how many gallons of water they pump every day which is millions and millions and like I said it would take way more than seven minutes to break down what their job is and what they really do for us and keeping us safe um, the other treatment plant I got to see that as well and um, spend time there but like I said this is not one that you would just pass <laughs> by and see all you know all the time all right, learning objectives, the important part. It was kind of hard because like I said, I teach child development and early childhood to connect it. But I said, let's go with the overall national standard of family consumer sciences. And I think that would keep, uh, you know, tie it in, which is to design, promote human literacy by empowering individuals and fostering lifespan development and career preparedness or whatnot. And I do have an objective in child development, which is over to the left side, which is about, you know, working with your family but also understanding issues related to health and safety of children. Because I would think that learning how to properly use a bathroom and dispose of items is safety as well, and it's gonna help save you some unnecessary expenses. You 
tell children would toss anything <laughs> in the toilet. So I put it to my kids and um, I showed them different little uh, campaigns that they did about do not flush. And I was like, we should come up with our own. So um, we started out with some musical ones, like they had an MC Hammer one that was like, da 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 can't flush this. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was really cute. But I wanted my kids to get musical, but some of them were nervous. So I did get a video or a commercial, and hopefully I'll get that to play later. But yeah, they really went into this. And I talked about the fact of taking a child care owner. If you had people using wipes to clean the infants and things like that, how are they disposing of those? Because a lot of wipes that you buy now, they will say that the wipes are flushable, but indeed they're not. We come to find out they don't break down. They leave little filaments and they get wrapped around the motors and things that um, the water quality people have to go out and fix and repair and things like that. So. Like I said, my kids created a lot of flyers on Do Not Flesh. This is a video, and I'm not sure if it's going to play. I got nervous with my last friend. <laughs> so I don't know if it's going to play, but they really did a nice commercial where... Oh, it's not going to play, but we're not going to hold my, all my time for that. They said slow internet. I don't know. But yeah. They went into the bathroom, they did a whole little thing and talked it was about um, feminine products being flesh and all of that and it had music, it was really great. But here are some of the other things I got. And remember, we teach high school kids. So sometimes they get a little extra and they want to say, do not flesh that is so bad. But I was like, look, I'm going to keep it a little clean cut. I got to go somewhere with this. Don't, um, don't do too much. So it says, save your pipes, only flush the wipes. And they actually try to create little poop and pee <laughs> and all of that put on the, the thing, which I thought was really neat. And then I had one that came up with a logo. It was really cool. Don't flush, and they got some different little tips at the bottom. Um, they made me remind me how old I am because I didn't know who this little character was. <laughs> but this character is named Poo, apparently, and they used to feed him and take care of him back in the day. And I was like, yeah, this is after my time but anyway <laughs> and they put them on the poster and they same concept where you're supposed to flush and what you should not and uh, i have another one but just a few more like flyers i really wish i could play my video and then i did have one kid who's a foreign exchange student to create a book and i think that was really um great for her because it's right there really great for her because it, there is definitely a language barrier but she did really good she understood the assignment but her book is really good and it's very childlike. It's the idea of what I would ask you to create in early childhood. And it goes through and asks questions and then on the next page it says yes or no, whether you can flush it or not. And she drew it and everything. But that's the end of my presentation.